Hello all. I recently did a studio visit with artist Jaslyn Sabri. Uh, Jaslyn is keeping studio at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts while completing her MFA there. Uh, we were joined by Ms. Vashti Dubois, founder of the Colored Girls Museum in Philadelphia, and Vashti took the photos you're going to see. Jaslyn's going to talk to us about her practice and creative thought process. This is all collaged, so um, there's there's a paint, and then these vellum photos are collaged. So I really went with the use of collage because I think I really needed that, um, I think, tactile <laughs> element, um, you know, and it's just something about being able to really, like, interact with the work through touch. Um, I think that with what I'm talking about, about um, communal healing and nurturing and things, there's a certain element of um, a touch. There's nothing like being able to really touch the canvas and like smooth down, you know, the tissue paper and things like that, the, the aspect of cutting it. Um, that just really, I think, allows me to connect with it deeper. representational like portraiture style paintings um i just knew that I, that that wasn't where the work was going to stop and i knew that i really need to, needed to do the work that was in my brain the work that i would see when i closed my eyes um and so that is where um the shift occurred so i've been working in this way now for about two years um and just really, I think, have grown a deeper spiritual connection to the work um, that wasn't quite happening before with the representational paintings. So these photographs are all taken from um, slave associated places. So these specific ones are from Beaufort County, South Carolina, where my family um, was enslaved. Um, and so I had the opportunity to visit there and get some on the ground um, photographs of those places. There's also Leary, uh, Georgia, um, and then anywhere that I travel in the diaspora also, um, such as Liberia and Brazil. So. The animal print, uh, it really comes from our um, West African spiritual traditions as um, members of the African diaspora community. Um, and I knew when I chose them that I wanted to create my figures in a way that really protected their identities because we're working with people from our community and we already have enough um, observation and uh, surveillance going on. Um, and then I also just noticed that um, when, I would, when I would paint people more representationally, that the conversation would really stop right there. It's like you walk up to the piece, you recognize the person, and you keep moving. And once I decided to um, shift into hiding my figures, in this way that's very spiritually motivated, um, it really allowed for a deeper conversation to take place. Uh, there's a link in the descriptions to see more of Jaslyn's work and learn a little bit more about what she's got going on. Uh, thank you for sitting with us and please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you again soon.